Оля. Один вопрос был, Оля. Да, 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 слушаю. Презентацию ведь вы сами сделаете, да? Я только вступительное слово говорю, правильно? Э, да, мы уже делали ранее презентацию, поэтому сегодня я буду рассказывать про процесс поступления. То есть, да, мы ждем просто вступительное слово от вас. Слово, да, да я передам вам слово, а потом приступлю к объяснению процесса. Все, я понял, спасибо.
And so, dear prospective students, we welcome you on Kazan Federal University online open days for foreign students. My name is Baklanova Olga. I'm a specialist of the admission office today together with the advisor for uh, advisor to the rector's office for international activities, Mr. Latipov. We will tell you about the Republic of Tatarstan, about the history and the structure of our university, about the programs that we offer to foreign students and about the admission process. At the end of our broadcast, you will be able to uh, give us all your questions. And so we start and I want to give the floor to the advisor uh, to Rector's Office for International Activities, Mr. Latipov. Good day, we are listening to you. Yes, uh, uh, good morning or good evening or good day, my dear friends. Uh, on behalf of uh, the Rector's Office of Kazan University, I would like to welcome you at this open day for international students of Kazan Federal University. First of all, Kazan Federal University is uh, the second uh, oldest university in Russia with very deep uh, historical traditions uh, with more than two, 216 years of uh, of uh, heritage of uh, research and uh, uh, education. And uh, it is a so-called Ivy League University of Russia, and it used to be called uh, Kazan Emperor University. Now it is Kazan Federal University. Uh, we have 50,000 uh, students and the number of students among them, 10,000 students are international students. And uh, Kazan University is a classical university that is uh, all, all spheres of, uh, of science uh, are presented here, physics, uh, chemistry, biology, ecology, three institutes of uh, mathematics and informatics, uh, then uh, institute of, big institute of uh, medicine and uh, biology, fundamental medicine and biology, big institute of petro petrochemical industries and technologies, and then we have uh, human uh, arts, arts and the humanities. Uh, that is, uh, Kazan University gives an overall education, and what is very important, Kazan University, being a prestigious university of Russia, it is a so-called socially orientated uh, university. That is, uh, the price of education is very moderate, uh, and it has been established in this moderate uh, framework, especially targeting at all layers of society, not only uh, for uh, children from uh, rich families, but uh, from the families, moderate and even poor families. And uh, you will be able to see uh, the prices of education on our website, but in general it's from $2,000 to $5,000. That is, it's very affordable. But uh, the difference is paid by the Russian government and uh, by uh, uh, the Kazan University. That is, we give a chance to children from all layers of society to get uh, good, solid, higher education and uh, the diplomas of the University of Kazan Federal University, they are recognized around the world and they are recognized as, uh, uh, as a good testifying document for good education. And uh, we have 17 institutes, as I told you, in all spheres of knowledge and uh, institutes are inside the university, three high schools, and we also have, uh, have secondary schools. Um, that is uh, just, uh, uh, I would like to tell you that Kazan University is the biggest university in Russia. We have 726 buildings. Can you imagine that 726 buildings? That, uh, it's a big research center, first of all, uh, of Russia. That is why uh, the university is called a research-based university and all the students are first of all trained as good scientists and uh, only then as practitioners in their in their field and then all uh, all institutes that they're 
they deliver interdisciplinary subjects. Uh, that is, if it is physics, it is physics connected with chemistry, with biology, with medicine, with informational technologies. If it is uh, engineering, and we have good institute of engineering, it is connected with biology, uh, then uh, medicine, physics, chemistry, that is it. So all the institutes are interconnected and they give the overall uh, knowledge. And uh, seven uh, Nobel laureates uh, worked in uh, Kazan University. The Kazan, uh, Lenin, Vladimir Lenin, uh, graduated from Kazan University. Leo Tolstoy graduated from Kazan University. And that is, Lenin studied in Kazan University, but uh, Mm, and Leo Tolstoy, not graduated, I'm sorry, but they studied in Kazan University. But one of the greatest uh, mathematicians of Russia, Nikolai Lobachevsky, he graduated from university and he was the rector of the university for 19 years. That is a great, great scientist, uh, well renowned, as I mentioned, seven Nobel laureates that worked in Kazan University. And at present, uh, these traditions of uh, of science and knowledge uh, are very solid in in the university. And we have good uh, dormitories. Uh, the dormitories for international students, they, it's a closed territory within which we have uh, uh, have uh, supermarkets, so we have uh, hospital for students, so we have sport facilities. And in general, sports is, uh, is very well developed in, in, in uh, Kazan University. We have swimming pools, we have different uh, uh, well, football, soccer, uh, then uh, basketball, volleyball are very popular among the students and we give the possibility for, for training and uh, for, for playing. So uh, welcome to Kazan University and we will be happy to see you among our students and my colleagues will tell you how to apply and how to pass exams to become students of Kazan University. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now I would like to tell you how the uh, process of admission to our university will be organized this year. So this year, in light of coronavirus, all the procedures um, conducted in, in a remote format. Uh, so we, has, uh, we have already successfully uh, tested our system and the first, uh, the first uh, wave of entrance exams was held uh, from the uh, June 22 till July uh, 4. If you didn't have a time to take part in the first wave, don't worry, you have the opportunity to take part in the second wave. The second wave of entrance exams start, uh, starts today and will last till July 25. In order to take part in the entrance exams, you need to do the next. Firstly, you need to prepare a complete set of required documents, so which includes uh, the next documents, passport and its notarized translation into Russian, then uh, educational document and its notarized uh, translation into Russian and one official photo. Then you need to register in the system Budu Studenta, where you can submit all the listed documents. And now I would like to demonstrate how you can do this. Uh, just a minute, I will share, I will share my screen. Uh, so you can see my browser, just several minutes. So, and we start. Um, in order to register, um, it's enough to just uh, in the browser, just enter uh, Budu Studentum to find our official page. So now you can see our official page. You see the option register, you just need to click on it. 
So enter your personal data, email address, and a password, and in such way you will create your personal account on our website. In order to log in, you need to enter your username, it's your email address, and a password. So, this is what your personal account looks like. You see different options. You need to click on the option submit an application. And just after that, you will see a questionnaire consisting of several pages. You need to fill out all these pages. The first one about your personal data. The second one about your address. The third about your education. The fourth, it's additional information. You need to miss the next two tabs and just click on the attach documents where you need to attach all the documents that I have already mentioned, all the required documents. And please don't forget to download um, consent to personal data processing uh, to sign it, to scan and submit back to the website. Just when you fill all the required fields marked with red, you will be able to submit your application just a minute, I will show you, where you can choose the program. Just after that, you need to save your application form and to uh, download application for participating in competitive selection, to sign in, to scan, and upload back to the website. Just after all these procedures, you will get access to the entrance exam. And at the last tab, you can see uh, it just uh, the tab for a contract. If you pass exam successfully, in this tab you will find your contract. You will need to submit all the required documents here to sign your contract and to pay for it. So when on the exam day, you just need to enter to your personal account and just follow the tab master studies if you apply for master studies or just need to click to the option uh, distance exams in order to pay to take part in exams for programs like bachelor specialist diploma programs. To follow the link to check your equipment and to take part in exams. So, generally it's all. And so now, thank you for your attention. If you have any questions concerning admission process, be welcome. I'm ready to answer all your questions. Uh -huh. Just a minute. Okay, we have good the first one. John um, mm -hmm. Okay, is there any more information about when will the immigration will be reopened? Thank you. Um, okay, good day. Um, concerning migration issues. Unfortunately, we are not able to answer this question now. It depends on the situation. And I hope that by the end of this month, we will be able to publish this information on our website. Now we are waiting with you when it will be more clear. Mm -hmm. I have a question about preparatory school. Is there will be any chance to study on face to face due to the COVID? or the course will be held all by online. Thank you. Um, so, specialists of the preparatory course, um, they prepared two forms of 
uh, this program. One is like face to face and the second one in a distance format. So we are just waiting how the situation uh, will be changing. And so due to the current situation, we will propose you the first or the second option. If the borders of Russian Federation are closed, it's evident that you will not be able to come in Russia, so we will propose you um, a remote course in a distance form. Uh, do I have to say in English, please? Mm. Can do I'm from India. Do you have a scholarship for international students? Unfortunately, we don't have scholarship for foreign students, but you can apply for the scholarship of Russian government. In order to get this scholarship, you need to register on the website a Future in Russia, and they also advise you to contact uh, uh, Russian Center for Science and Culture in order to get precise information about available quotas in your country. I applied for one and a half years of preparatory course, but I had to pay the first six months due to the virus. I changed the period to one year starting this September. Um, but I had to pay. I must complete the payment of six additional months. Um, so if you get a contract for this program, uh, the, so the period of time when you can pay was indicated in your contract. So just please follow the information of your contract. Or you can always uh, write to the preparatory course by the email uh, preparatory at kpfu.ru. I think that you that you have received the contract from this email. Will preparatory study be held still on 1st September? Or it will be delayed because of this long road for delay? Thank you. Uh, so honestly, we don't know yet um, when exactly the, this academic year will start. So we are waiting for this information. Don't worry, we will inform you and uh, we will publish this information on our official website. How long does it take to get invitation visas in the immigration officer? to get invitation visa. So it depends on the country. I think that you are from Indonesia. So it takes 30 working days um, for uh, so for preparing of your invitation. And I think that it depends on your country too, maybe one or two weeks in order to get visa from our consulate in your country. So generally it's one month and a half. How to apply for postgraduate studies? If you want to apply for postgraduate student studies, you need to enter on our official website. There is a special section, um, admission, applying, and there you will see different programs. There is a special section for PhD programs. You just need to follow uh, this link to read carefully the information. On our website, there is a special link uh, of online application form. You need to fill out all the pages of this application form and to submit your application form. Uh, you need to prepare uh, your just almost just the same uh, set of documents. It's a passport, it's not voice translation into Russian, documents about your previous education, uh, one photo, and also you're supposed to submit um, a, a document about your future studies. Uh, so we will be able to find a scientific advisor for you. Just describe carefully your future um, studies. Doug, hello, do you have medicine in English? 
Yes, we have general medicine and dentistry programs that are totally taught in English. I will be able to notarize copies of all documents. Uh, so you have several options. Uh, you can uh, translate and notarize your copies in Russian embassy in your country or in any authorized translation agency in your country. We will able to notarize your document. Ah, so just the same question. Hi, do you know if the semester will be online? Can I go back to my country in this period? Mm -hmm. So, as I have already said, unfortunately, we are not able to give you precise information for this time. Uh, we are waiting uh, when it will be like when we get like precise information. Um, so we hope that this academic year start from the 1st September. Um, if it starts in uh, remote format, um, in online format, so you will be able to take part in our lectures uh, staying in your home country. Uh, since me, but there is no reply for them. Uh, so, just a minute, I will share the official email address. So, the question is I have been emailing preparatory since May, but there is no reply from them. Did you write to this email address? I just have shared the official email address. If yes, just please uh, write your contact information. I will transfer this information to the preparatory course and will ask them to answer you. Do medical prospective students into So you don't need to send uh, so, do medical prospective students international need to apply for preparatory courses? So basically, uh, you don't need to apply for the preparatory course if you don't need it. Um, if you know well English or Russian languages and you want to apply for English taught program or for Russian taught program, you can apply directly to this program. There is a special situation where students from Iran so it depends on um, whether you passed preparatory course in your country or not. If you have passed, you don't need. If you didn't pass, you are supposed to pass preparatory course in our university. So my son in Russia, and he performed entrance exam for medicine in English medium. He was informed by his So, in case your son passed entrance exams, so pass successfully, he will receive a contract. Uh, so he will find this contract in the last tab. I have shown you it before. In your personal account on our website, there will be a contract. And also specialists of our university, they will send you an email with information about your status. Um, anyway, I will share our telephone number. Please feel free to call us and to check if you want to, to know information concerning the status of your application form. When we get another important information. So just when we get another important information for international students from KFU, KFU so for international students. Okay. So you are always welcome to our official website. There is a special section for international students 
where you can find all the updated information. And there you can just uh, find all the last news concerning admission process, concerning the upcoming academic year, and concerning uh, the upcoming academic year. I think that at the end of this month we will uh, inform you in what form and from date this year will start in our university. What specialities are present at your university in English for master's studies? So we have uh, different specialities, uh, different master's specialities that are taught in English. Uh, for example, geology, mathematics, also, also management. Uh, you can find information about all the master courses, but generally about all English taught programs of our university. On our official website, there's a special section, um, English taught programs. And yeah, you can find the study plan and information about uh, uh, prices there too. What all subjects would be included in entrance exams for medicine? Um, so, if you choose general medicine, you are supposed to pass biology, chemistry, and Russian language. And I think just, yeah, just the same for dentistry. So, three exams um, chemistry, biology, and English language. Yes, I had received a new contract for September telling me to pay rubles to complete the payment with the so just imagine I'm trying to understand Said. Ah, okay. So you have if you have already paid for the preparatory course, you're just supposed to transfer your money for the upcoming year. So uh, specialists of the preparatory course say are supposed to write you and to propose two options um, to uh, just to receive the new contract to transfer money for the upcoming academic year or just to receive your money back. So if you want to continue your studies in our university, in our university you just need to inform preparatory course, um, just ask them to transfer your money for this academic year that you want to study in our university. Can I pay the year of studies in two parts? Yes, it's possible. If you are not able to pay all the uh, all the um, tuition fee right now, you can pay just by parts. Do international students need to learn Russian language if their course is entirely taught in English? No. So if you choose English taught program and you know English, you don't need to pass preparatory course of Russian language. Mm -hmm. So any questions? Okay, the next question is, I paid 50% of my tuition and supposed to pay it later in Kazan. What if there will be just online course, so I have to pay it from my country again? Yes, if you stay in your country, uh, you will get information from, the, from our university about the payment. Um, so, but if you have already paid 50%, I think it's enough for the first semester. 
and I hope that the second semester will start in Kazan. So if it would be like I told you, so you can come to Kazan and to pay it here. If all the course will be entirely uh, in online form, so we will provide you with payment information and you will be able to pay from your own country. Yes, I did it to start it. Yes, yeah, thanks. Thanks for the help. Dogan. Do we need to apply our child's results and so on? So if you apply for uh, general medicine or dentistry, you can um, you can upload IELTS results. But in any case, if university will require you to pass entrance exams, you will need to pass it. When do exams start? When does the acceptance of the student? So, when do exams start? If we speak about the second wave, it starts, so the exam started today and will last till July 25. When does the acceptance of documents for study end? Uh, we accept uh, applications from st foreign students till October 15. So I want to know about fee for dormitories. So one month of living in a dormitory will cost around 600 Russian rubles, 600. Uh, is it true that semester will be online in medicine? I mean, so, uh, so if we organize online courses it will be all the courses of the university not just of medicine uh, that is why i can ask you to follow our news because now we are not able to say to to give you precise information concerning the upcoming um, academic year um, so you will find this information i hope at the end of this month on our official website about the format and about the schedule of the upcoming academic year. For international students, what are the subjects included in entrance exam for general medicine? So, um, entrance exams for general medicine uh, include biology, chemistry, and English language. I will complete the payment of the 50% payment to me in my country by my friend who is all the in Kazan as a student. Um, so honestly, I didn't understand is it like question or what 
I will complete the payment of the 50% payment remaining in my country or by my friend who is already there in Kazan as a student. You can ask to pay your student, but it's very important to indicate your personal data in the uh, payment document. So we will be able to understand that it's you who paid for your studies and not your friend. If I applied in the first period of exams, can I apply in the second one again? Uh, you see, you have one chance to pass each exam. If you pass them and you pass it, so uh, you just failed. In this case, unfortunately, you are not able to pass it again. But if you choose a program with other entrance exams, you can apply and you can pass. So international relations just uh, for international students, what are the subjects included in entrance exam for international relations program? I hope that you are speaking about the bachelor program. So now I will tell you, in order to enter international relations, you need to pass uh, Russian language and social studies. Two entrance exams. Would biology and chemistry entrance exam of general medicine will be taken in English language for international students? So it depends on the program that you have chosen. If you have chosen English taught program, so uh, you will take part in English taught program, uh, in English taught, uh, so, sorry. So you will pass English test. So chemistry and biology will be in English. If you have chosen Russian taught program, you will pass exams in Russian language. And so many questions today. So, oh, okay, the next. Uh, from where the majority of international students in KPU comes from. So we have quite a lot of students from Central Asia country, Central Asian countries. Uh, from China and also from Latin America. But you're always welcome from Indonesia to our university. We have students from your country too. So the question is, can we take entrance exam again if we fail to succeed in first one general medicine? I have already told that if you failed one exams, you um, you have just one chance to pass the exam. So if you failed, unfortunately, you're not able to pass it again. It's like a competition, and so it's honest competition. So you have just one chance, and just please do all the best to pass it successfully. 
But if you choose another program where there is no entrance exam that you have already passed and failed, you can pass, just you can take part in the second phase of entrance exam. When would the acceptance letters come out? Uh, so when you pass, when you pass successful entrance exams, you will get a contract. In order, so in this case, if you need acceptance letter, you can just write to our email. You will see just later on the screen, admission at kpfu.ru. You just need to write us to introduce yourself and to explain why do you need this acceptance letter. Uh, if it's enough for you, contract with the official stamp, so it's okay. Uh, so there are no questions. So I will be waiting for your questions for like three, five minutes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Are international students allowed to accommodate in city rather than university though? Mm, yes, uh, if you want to live, if you want to rent an apartment, you can do this. So as uh, no questions for this moment, I'm just switch on, switch off my microphone, and I will be waiting for your answers, uh, for for your questions for around two three minutes.
So I'm back. We have received the new questions. So if I already passed admission exams, could I go back to my country and make the visa there without any problem? So it is possible, but unfortunately now we are not able to uh, publish invitations for foreign students and we don't know when the borders of Russian Federation will be open. So it's more likely that you will be able to receive the new visa just after um, uh, several months. If you have a scholarship from the Russian embassy, I have to make also the entrance exam. So if you have a scholarship uh, from the Russian government, you don't need to pass entrance exams. What are the minimum required grades in high school diploma to get admission general medicine? So um, you can get an access to the entrance exams to general medicine if your school grades are not lower than C for such subjects like chemistry and biology. When will there be another live streaming, I think, in English again? Um, so we are planning to organize uh, next live broadcast in August. The precise schedule will be able to find on our official website in the section Open Days of Kazan Federal University. What is the last date of submitting the application online? So it depends on the wave, in, what, in which wave do you want to take part? Um, so if you want to take part in this wave, please hurry up. The entrance exams has already started. Uh, but generally, we accept applications from foreign students uh, till October 15, just for programs of specialist diploma, master, and bachelor. If you apply, if you want to apply for PhD program, you need to apply till um, till August, so the last day of July. It's the deadline. And if you want to apply for preparatory course, we accept applications till the end of August. Is any working admin on a campus? Or they are all working from their home due this COVID? Uh, no, we have a special office uh, in a dormitory in a campus the university village in the building number nine you can meet our specialist from the adaptation service or from the visa service Thanks for taking time to answer us. It's really helpful. Thank you. Thank you for your interest to our university. <laughs> Thank you very much for the information. This live streaming is very, very helpful. I'm really glad that you got all the information. Thank you for your interest. Um, Can we apply for entrance exam in August? WEF exams if we could not pass the July WEF exam? Uh, so I have told before that in case you didn't have a time to take part in the first wave, don't worry, you have the opportunity to take part in this wave. And uh, in case you are not able to take part in the July wave, it's okay, you can take part in the third wave that we organized in August. The schedule will be published later. Will be published later on our website. 
but it will be held from uh, from August 5 till August 18. Uh, how can we recruit students to university? So, if you, a representative of recruiting agency, please write to our email. Um, I will write you and you will see it later on our screen. Admission. Admission at kpfu.ru. Just send your proposal to our email address and we contact you. Can we get PDF file of presentation? Sorry, I don't understand about which presentation you're speaking now. We will save. We сохраним. We will save this live uh, broadcast on our official account in, in YouTube. So you're welcome. You can just rewatch it when you want. Is there a mean to know the exact status after passing entrance exam or medicine English in past 22 out of 6? Is my agent informed me that I passed, but till now he didn't, didn't show me the contract. Um, so at the end of this live broadcast, you will see our contact information on your screen. Telephone number and email address. Please welcome. You can call or you can write us. Just um, tell us your full name. We will check information about you in our system and we will inform you whether you passed exam successfully or not. How can I watch this live stream again? Please post it on Admission YouTube. Yes, yes, we will save it. Don't worry. We will save it and I think that just starting from tomorrow you will be able to rewatch it. Uh, please share contact details. You will see them, our contact information on your screen just after I finish this live broadcast. All foreign students go to the village or the old home. So the first course and the preparatory course. Um, so uh, foreign students of the first course, uh, course and of the preparatory course, they all receive rooms in, in the new dormitory university village. And so if you are a student of um, other courses, the second and further, it depends on your activity. So the institute is responsible uh, of providing you with a dormitory and it depends on your activity and your academic results. Uh, do we need to upload IELTS result also for general medicine in English? Um, yes, if you have IELTS results that um, are valid till now, you can submit it. But I have already told that if Institute uh, will ask you to pass entrance exams, you will need to do this. 
can we get WhatsApp number of admission office? So we provide, uh, so we chat with uh, foreign students by phone or by our official email address. We don't have a WhatsApp account. Do you accept transfer student from Kazan State Medical University? Uh, so, if you want to transfer to our university from another, doesn't matter uh, is it located in Kazan or not, you need to contact directly the institute. So, uh, you need to contact the Institute of Fundal, Fundamental Medicine and Biology. Uh, you will be able to find the contact information uh, on our website in the section structure of the university because uh, institutes are responsible for transfer and procedures because they, be, they need to check your academic results and all the disciplines that you have been studying in your university. Why don't control? I think you, you want to write control cheating in the exam. Why everyone has 100% in the exam? So we have the system, we use the system examus that we have already tested. Uh, the system is recording the video and it's impossible to, to cheat during the exam. So if you have such kind of case, just please inform us and we will try to uh, to find out what is wrong with the student. So just a minute. Can medicine students learn German language along with the course in the new faculty for the university? Um, so we have uh, the Institute of Philology and the Institute of International Relations within these two um, institutes. You can study German language um, in your additional time, as I know. Uh, within general medicine or dentistry, you will be able to study English language. And if you have a time, you can you subscribe to the additional courses. But we propose courses of German language in our university for sure. Can fifth year medicine students apply for internship in other country than Russia? Uh, you see, it's better to discuss this question with a specialist from uh, the Institute of General, uh, of General Medicine and Biology. Because um, I'm not sure that if you pass it in another country, whether you will be able to 
um, like to um, to attach it to your course in our university. Uh, can you share the link on the YouTube account? We have already done it. Please welcome. How much is it cost in a month to live in Kazan? So the approximate price is uh, 15,000 Russian rubles per month. Do you take transfer? So if you want to transfer to our university, you can do this. Uh, you just need to, so it depends whether you are a scholarship student or do you pay for your studies. If you are a scholarship student, you need to contact our office. Uh, our contact information you will see later on your screen. If you pay for your studies, you need to contact uh, institute. Um, all the contact information you can find on our official website in the section uh, structure of the university. So there is no questions. And I want to say you thank you for your questions, for your interest in our university. I'm really happy that this uh, live broadcast is so interesting for you. We have got more than 60 questions. It's really cool. Uh, so thank you for your attention and I wish you good luck in your entrance exams and you're always welcome in our university. Good day.